Minster FM is in Warmgate at the moment, right outside the press building, which has been evacuated as has the student castle uh, because of this uh, water leak. You'll have seen the video from earlier. The water's been turned off now. Uh, they're saying that this part of the road could be closed for weeks. Lisa and Karen are local residents and they're with me now. Tell me, what did you see this morning? Then? This morning, the water was running right down the road, up through the road, the pavements near Student Castle, um, and then the, the fire brigade came and put some buffers down to stop the water from going further down Warmgate and the uh, northern power grid the yorkshire water came to turn the water off they were having difficulties at first but eventually they got it turned off and now it's turned off but businesses have been affected yeah you must have been quite surprised when you saw oh, that oh it was, was really surprised yes. it's the biggest water leak i've seen the river Warmgate. yes <laughs> yes <laughs> now you you said you'd spoken to somebody who works the in press the press office and, the, and they said that it, apparently it happened just after eight o'clock but when the road erupted it just went boom, huge bang well, the videos that we've got that show the water flow yeah. are quite impressive. Mm. Um, is this going to be a bit of a pain in the neck for you two? Uh, no, because I just walk on foot everywhere. We'll just, have to walk just, all the way around. Yeah, but we'll have to go on a bit of a detour, but sunny days, not a problem. <laughs> well, it's not often you see this sort of thing down no, there. No, it isn't, no. No, it isn't. Thanks very much for talking to Minster okay. FM. Okay. So there we are. This is the situation, as I said, at about 11 o'clock. Uh, I'm told by the police that they will make an effort to reopen the walkway as soon as possible, but the road is going to remain closed for a while.